Hey folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Now that we've had a drink and a bite to eat, we can continue on with our tale. We had met up with Khadgar and he had teleported us back to Draenor, which is what Outland used to be. Yes, we had gone back in time. Ariana points across the room and bursts into tears. How do I put out the fire? There's Squiggy. You know Squiggy could just fly up over the top of that, don't you? Kidding me? Drenai Bucket in need of a hero. We will take the bucket over here and we will be heroic. Floor fire doused. Oh, wait. I, I, I got to douse three fires. Can I pick up more of these? Drenai Bucket. Oh, I can. No, I can't. I may only pick up one bucket at a time. Or it might be that I tried to pick up a bucket already. There's the bookshelf fire doused. And then I come back over here and retrieve that one. Drenai bucket right there. Yeah, so I can only pick up one bucket at a time. I can't run around with multiples. Go to there. Table fire doused. I've done it. I saved Squiggy. I'm heroic. I'm it's wonderful. Oh, I can sit down. I have a bit of fruit. Looks like dragon fruit. Right, we've had our tasty bucket of dragon fruit. Ariana, you did it. Squiggy is okay. Yes, Squiggy is fine. Right, now get a move on, you spoiled little brat. You know that your pet could have just flown up over those flames. That we didn't have to risk life and limb doing that, don't you? You know, you had a flying creature there with you. It's, it's, it's utterly ridiculous. It really is. Right, Rastak, stay back a minute, boy. Just, just stay back a minute. I have mighty battling to do. There we go. Mighty battling over. Avert your eyes while I'm slaughtering enemies. I might scar you. I thought everyone forgot about me. Thank you, kind Mister. No worries. That's it. You run right past the other enemies. Ones that I've. Oh, wait a minute. A false bottomed jar. 63 gold. Nice. That's not a bad little find, is it? Don't mind if I do. Now, where do I turn in these quests? Do I go right up the top? Got one in here. To Lunar Observatory. Nope. Down here. What's this? That is Nerzul. Sam Samara? I don't think we want Samara there. Right, oh, okay, so I need to be down here. Prophet Velen. Yiddle. Thing, things seem to have changed up here in the village. What? Did, did, pretty sure. We welcome your help. There are many injured who need my aid. There is no time to waste. I am glad to hear that the children are safe. They will remember your heroic deeds for their entire lives. Another prisoner for the sacrifice. There's some bad juju going on around here. We need we need to hurry up. Come on. How long have I got left on that one? The forests are clear of Shadow Moon enemies. Good. I knew that you would not fail. We've got the Carabao Sage pendant. That's a holy specialization. Or oh, the Carabao Guardian Gorg is it Gorg Gorget. Gorget, isn't it? Uh that's nine we lose one mastery and nine crit. And we gain strength, stamina, and hey, I think that's actually a little bit of a level up. So I'll take that one. Complete quest. Wonderful. That should slow down the attack. Our forces should be able to retake the forest quickly. We've managed to pin Erzul inside the observatory. But he's taken many down with him. He has taken Yerl's sister, Samara. I am needed to hold the line here. Please, do whatever you can to save her, hero. You are the instrument of change. The instrument of change. Okay, I can be the instrument of change. I don't mind. Now, what's going on here? So, if I'm... No! Samara! What am I supposed to do? Nerzul! Stop this! What do you want? Your blood will grant me the powers of the Dark Star! Pushes ghoul with you. You know, no! Tell your prophet that his era is over. 
darkness dawns. Champion, focus your attacks on that thing. I will uh. protect the others. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure it went according to plan. I was supposed to try and save her. I didn't do it. I did no saving at all. All I did was just sort of stand helplessly by while he threw her through a portal. And I don't think that was quite what the Prophet Velen had in mind when he sent me off after her. I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say that. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain that I didn't quite get it right there. All right, let's go over this way a bit. We'll, we'll bring that one around behind. You lot take care of all the ads, and I will take care of the main boss. Okay? That's how we're going to do this. I will deal with the boss. You deal with the ads. Uh, at least that's what I'm hoping will happen. We'll do that in a minute. That's going to get me a little bit more down. Now we're talking. Here we go. Right, and going to stun you. Oh, yeah, the stun did work. Knocked him down just for a moment. Bring that one over there. There we go. Nicely done. And I got Trembling Darkstone. Okay, Great Prophet. I... Nerzul is taking the captives to Shazgul. We need to get our eyes onto the field. Rangari can help us. Not okay. all who wander are lost. Your aid in retaking Talunar Observatory is not gone unnoticed, hero. I grow increasingly impressed with you at your prowess in battle. Perhaps you could share some of your knowledge with my disciples. They could learn much from a seasoned adventurer such as yourself. I have something for you. As a thanks for what you've done, even in the short time you've been here, perhaps it will help you get this garrison of yours on its feet. We get Karabor on a guard girdle, which actually isn't going to be much good, but we get 100 garrison resources. That is good. Garrison resources are good. Achievement progress. Ooh, that's got us an upgrade. Okay, upgrades are good. The safety of my people is of the utmost priority. It is likely that Nerzul has taken the prisoners to Shah's Ghul, his stronghold to the southwest. I do not wish to use aggression against him, but he may force my hand. Meet me at Twilight Glade, Grandorn. Then we shall try our best to recover the prisoners. Many depend on you. Okay. Many depend on me, so no, no no pressure or anything. No no pressure at all. Lots and lots of people depend on me. Right. Go over here to Farmer Gihar. Poros. First the Iron Horde, then the Shadowmoon Orcs, and now there's trouble brewing to the south. My brother is a fey rider to the south at the Dracurium. He says that the creatures from the swamp are venturing into our lands. What is this world coming to? Anyway, you look like a seasoned adventurer. If you are heading that way, would you mind checking in over there? Long life, my friend. Long life. Right. Uh, things don't seem to have gone quite according to plan. We need to find Prelate Renu at Dracorium. We, uh, the transponder one right there. Where have I got to go for that? Uh, oh, no. oh, that one's uh, that one's all the way over there. So take that one in over to there. But no, there was one thing that I actually wanted to go and do a minute, and that is people have been asking me how many hours I have played in total in this game. So I was going to go through using the Altaholic thing and gather up the data for the number of hours that I have actually played in total. So, like that one there, I got five days. Totals right there, five days, eight hours. Now, um, battle for Azeroth, item level 260, no, I don't worry about that. Uh, so I got 5,522, but this, wait a minute, what was that? Oh, I can reset it right now. So, played. Click to show, hide, real-time play. Ah, and then I can put it into order right there. So, that's five days. That's actually, like, one day is 24 hours of full gaming time. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do in a minute. So, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go with the Garrison Hearthstone. And I'm going to half back. And... I will quickly go through my characters, but what I'm going to do first is we're going to send off any of the grey, white, green items that we've got to 
um, the various different characters that we want to send them to. And then we'll also go to those and we'll gather up our mail from them as well. Uh, you here. That one's completed. So we can go and send this mission off as well while we're here. So I want to go to there. Complete that mission. There, we've got another mission done. Lunafor Raven. We took that one out. Delva Iron Fist did that. And we get there uh, 20 additional garrison resources. Fantastic. So I've got Rangari Rescue there. That will get us Contract Delira Moonfang. Okay, so if I take that one, this one is a 30-minute one. Again, Shadow Moon Necrolite there. Uh, but it Recruit Delira Moonfang. I get another recruit if I do that one. Whereas the other... Um, there, this one. This is, this is a rare one, and we get a piece of loot. Requires level 90. Um... We got two of these. We got the gleaming ring. This one takes one hour to complete. I don't know how common this one here is. I've absolutely no idea if this is like a rare, a rare quest or not. I don't think it is. Doesn't it? Doesn't look that one says rare. This one, I think maybe we can get that one. There. I want. I want to do this one. I I do actually want to do this one. So we go into there, and I go to there with Delvar's eighty-five percent, and then I go there, and because I've ticked both of those boxes. I've got a 100% chance of doing this. We get 200 base XP. There's 200 not shared. There's 200 each. And we get this gleaming ring coming back as well. So I'm going to send that one off. i got another one there. Faye Friends. So that's uh, one follower. That's a one follower mission as well. Right. Leave that one going. Be next time we come back for another gaming session, that will be. And I want to go now to send stuff here. So I've got Grilled Saberfish. That's food. Sea Scorpion Bait. That's uh, unique. Uh, stack size 1, that one is. Let's, let's have a look through here. So, like these. Now, that's a crafting reagent. But it does come under the food thing. So, I would send that to food. Might even have to send it to fish. Like maybe so. I don't think there's that many fish in the game, though. So, we can send all of that to food. Because um, it does become food. Blind Lake Sturgeon Flesh there so we also want to make those so you see I'm, I'm sort of torn I don't know which ones I should send and which ones I should keep whether I should keep those and just send these off or even turn those into food and keep so I, yeah at the moment I think we will send off all of these like this that's all of the food and the raw elec meat as well I'll send that off because it's all like bits of potential food uh, savage feast send that off Blind Lake Sturgeon. The baits we don't want to send. So there we go. And then we've got sliced Zanger buttons. And we've got Telmore Aruna Hard Cheese. We can send as well. That was what we bought from the merchant. So Foodgar has got a whole load of stuff sent off to him. And next up we're going to go to Stone. Stone Gar right there. Trembling Dark Stone. That's one gold for that whole piece there. Uh, dense stone. I've already got a load of. I've, I've got full stack of that in my own bank. So I don't want that. Uh, those, the rough weight stones. That's a part, really, rather than anything else. True iron ore. That I'll keep for this character at the moment. Rylak egg. That should go to the food gar. Black rock ore. There, yeah, one flat tooth. That one can go. Although that looks like a stone that's, that's an animal part though that's, that is an animal part so all I've got for this guy is just that one right there now animal parts we've got ruffled plumage we've got uh, luxurious pelts I can't trade that oh wait what oh those are soul bound so I can't do anything with those if they're soul bound I'm not gonna count anything soul bound I think just to make this a little bit easier uh, so we don't have to get like 200 primal spirits. We won't have to get two, uh, well, 50 of those because that's a stack size. Um, so anything that is soul bound, we won't do, but we will do the rest. So tough leathery skin goes serrated incisor, mangy pelt, uh, ossified. That's bound to me. Oh wait, that's soul bound as well. As prized as rare gems when set in drenic jewelry. Max stack size 50. You know what? I'm going to put that over there. And I'm going to put that over there. These are very rare. And the, you don't get very many of them. 
but they're soul bound and I don't really like that they're soul bound so I'm personally leaning very strongly towards not using anything if it's soul bound food gar there so the sumptuous fur that's a send you off and then animal gar sumptuous fur 20 of them uh, oh that one's an animal part as well that one should have gone so I'd like to I'd like to we'll put the baits over here and then I've got animal part animal part animal part animal part that's all animal gar there and send all of those away in the comments, tell me if you think I should be going for soulbound stuff as well or not. Should I attempt to get... Because I'm going to have to do all... I'm going to have to come back to this character only and do the soulbound stuff. I won't be able to go off to a different character to do the soulbound stuff. Um, which is going to make it a little bit more tricky to go for. We've got these elixirs and stuff here. And... That lot... Oh, hang on. Right, the, what I, I sell these, they go to my own bank alt, so I send those off there, so not the, all of the find and equip items like this, I send those to my bank alt. Soul bound, soul bound, soul bound, so those four can go to my bank alt. Off your trot, and then I've got that one. Let's see, is that an upgrade? We lose a little bit of haste and one mastery only, so we don't lose very much. And we gained from that um, critical strike and no. I lost crit and mastery. I gained haste, stamina and strength. It's probably not too bad. Uh, that one, I don't want to do anything. So that one I can get rid of. And then you up here, you are useless. Right. Now that I know, now that I've done What's all of that, let's go to you. Sell those three. They're no good to me anymore, and that's a quest. Watch your back. Okay. I've finally done all of that. Now I'm going to just quickly hop through my other characters so that I can get... I need to log out. So that I can get a total count of everything that I've got. Right, I have a bit of unread mail. I've also gone through on Ultaholic and I have gathered up all of the totals that I have. It's less than I thought. I've got to be honest, I thought I had over um, 350 days of playtime. I really did. I got 297 days of playtime here on Warcraft. You've got to remember though, that is almost a year playing continuously. 300, we'll call that 300 days because there are other alts and stuff that I haven't bothered including on other realms. Um, so 300 days. If I was to play 12 hours per day, that would be 600 days, which is not far off of two years. All right? Not far away from two years of game time right there. I'm, I'm pretty impressed that's at 12 hours a day. But so, yeah, 300 days of playtime <laughs> that I have got right here on World of Warcraft. And this is, like, the, my totals. Now, what I don't know is if I go right-click for options, can I then start to delete this alt? I can actually... Let's not do it with that one, just in case. Let's do that with an alt that I don't care about, which would be that one. Uh, delete the alt Kazrigar. Yes, right. Okay, so it just removes the totals. Uh, but what it's also going to do is it's also going to remove the um, the data in there. So I had 297 is now 295. Um, so we'll... we'll I'll, I'll leave that for a minute. I'll leave that for a minute. It's whether or not it starts to show up all the data for the other ones. So I've got a couple of bits in here. I'll open up those, I'll take them, and we've now got these added in here. So I've got one of them, I got four of them for drink gar, and I got six of those for drink gar. We don't have any on anyone else, so we can come out, we can log out of you, and we can go down to the next one. I've got food gar, plant, animal stone, and parts. I'm pretty sure I have sent items to each and every character. 
we'll just go through and have a look at these. I don't know why I'm getting these lure warnings. Quite sure what that's for. Anyway, I don't think it really matters. It might be because, I mean, here. Look, look at these. Pineapple pizza. I got loads of stuff here for food. Ooh, Torvald has just come online. Good afternoon. Let's say hello. Good afternoon, Mr. Torvald. And thank you for the shield upgrades. Right, we've now got all of these bits right here. Look at all this stuff. Look at all that. And so I've... Oh, see right there? Now that's bad. It's saying total owned seven. Um, but that's because Frithgar owns two. Frithgar is not being counted in this. Anything Frithgar... Uh, it, I will only count um, what I pick up with Grundorn and with other alts that I level up through... You got my attention. Oh. And I, oh no, that's I, that's pineapple pizza right there. So yeah, I got four. I, I got five of these, so I can drop that in the bank. And then those. Foodgar, Lucian, Relinara. See, I, my other characters—they're interfering with this. I don't want—they're they're all interfering. Get it back. We will we will delete them all. We're going to get rid of them. So right click and delete alt. Yes. And I'll go through now and I will delete all of these alts like this. There, yeah, delete this alt there. Yeah. And you, very well, Serenade, delete, yes, Dagnar, the Death Knight, off you go, Silesius the Rogue, I only leveled that Rogue up, that's 68, I only leveled him up so that I could get an achievement with Frithgar, it was a reputation thing, but I needed him to go and pick a load of pockets, so I had to level him up in order to be able to do it, didn't like that character at all, I did not get on with playing that character, I did not enjoy it. Um, you can go, you, right, actually you are part of what I've done for the series, so you can stay. you got to go. There, drink gar, plant gar, food gar, animal gar, stone gar, and parts gar, and then Shidora the mage, who we use as our bank alt. Right, so now I've got all of those there like that. That's better. Oh, wait. Oh, food gar. These are all food gar. What's on your mind? Much better. Food gar, total owned five. That's more like it. That's what we want. Right. So, for now, I will dump all of this in here. Straight into the bank. Like that. And those. There. So, they're all in the bank. They're all ready to go. Whole load they're of stuff good. right there. And I don't need to add those characters back into our list. Ever again. Log out of there. And I'll run on to the next one. So we're slowly starting to populate our banks and our alts with all of the materials that we're going to want to be able to complete this most epic of epic quests. Don't know why I'm getting those. They are slightly annoying. Still, it's fine. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't have any. I got no plant parts. Honestly, I thought I would have had at least a few. Animal, we've definitely got, and stone and parts, we've definitely got there as well. I don't know if I've maybe sent some to the wrong characters. Yeah, see, what is this? That's just a null message. Reload UI. Uh, button, easy obliterate item, button one. I have no idea. I shouldn't have easy obliterate on here, I suppose. Oh, maybe I've accidentally got a um, an add-on active that shouldn't be active. Maybe that's what it is. That wouldn't surprise me if that is the case. Right, so we've got a load of animal parts right here. Talk and to me. in here I've got more. So that's scaly... No, see, none of those are what I've got in there. I'll move these into the bank. Like that. There we go, like that. So, like the sumptuous fur, I need 200 of them. You can sell those for a bit on the auction house, actually. And the rest of these, most of these aren't going to be worth a great deal. They are all there. Off with you. We will eventually be able to get something with them. So let me log out a second. So what was that? It was easy obliterate. That. If I go to add-ons here. Scroll down through. Um, easy obliterate. Ah, that's why. I shouldn't be having that. I'm going to just disable that one completely for all. Always load out of date add-ons because a lot of add-ons end up being out of date and you don't even realise that they are. 
and it's, it ends up being a bit of a nuisance if you, you've got them. Um, close. Easy obliterate item button. Well, I've just got rid of it. I just, I just like, disabled it. Oh, well. Now, stone. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, of course. We sent those to the wrong character, didn't we? So I need to send this off again. Ruffled plumage, torn leathery skin, serrated incisor, and mangy pelt. That's not stone. Those are animal parts. So they need to go to animal gar. So we'll send those away. And then I will run up here to my bank and I will deposit here, there. this little lot here. Like that. So we put all of those. That one there, the Trembling Darkstone, I think that's going to be quite the challenge to be able to get those. Um, and again, I said this before. I'll say it again now. If you think that I should be sending... Um, if, do you think I should be going for the Soulbound items? I personally don't think I should. I don't think the Soulbound items are going to help. I think they are... Oh, i got nothing in there. Um, I don't think the Soulbound items, I don't think we should be going for those. Just got one lot in here. A few bits of armor fragments and things like that. Um, but yeah, I, I can't see that that's going to benefit us. Going for the Soulbound items. Wait, an yeah, Animal Gar, that's the one we want to go to. The Soulbound items, um, they're quite rare to find anyway with those. Hmm, I think maybe I need to exit the game and come back in for that to work properly. And so I, I genuinely don't know if it's going to work or not, um, being able to go with those. See, right there, the ruffled plumage. I've got more in the bank. Um, How are you? Put that one there. That goes up into the stack of ten. I got just those in there. Just the one and just the two. So we put those up into the bank like that. And that's all done. Um, the soulbound items, I, I can't see it's going to be beneficial to us to do it. Not that this entire exercise is beneficial, you know, to be fair. But at the same time, it's it's still a lot of fun to do. It is a highly entertaining thing to do. It's a challenge that we've not done before. Um, but the Soulbound items, they are extremely rare. Well, we've had one of each so far, and yes, we could go and get more of them, but like this, Ossified Venom Gland, we got one of those as prized as rare gems. These are unusual finds, and it's a stack size of 50. To be able to get 50 of each of these, I just don't think it's going to be something that we're going to be able to do. I really don't. Right, what I will do is I'm going to go over this way. We're going to head down to the water and we're going to do a spot of fishing because we haven't done any fishing um, for a little bit. So if I run down through here, we'll do a little bit. We'll fish up, just, just a few fish, and see if we can find anything. I'll have a little swim around, well, not swim around, a little fly around and we'll see if we can find any fishing nodes, first of all. There's a fishing node. Right, well, we start off with a fishing node. With one right there. Let's see scorpions. And I'm not going to bother equipping my fishing pole at the moment. I'm just going to do that. But that's, that's like not going all the way out. I'll bring that one up so we can see what we're getting. It's going to go. It's going to go. There we go. Small sea scorpion. Sea scorpion bait. Increases the chance of getting a sea scorpion. Right, I'm using that, the, the the rod, as much as I can, and I'm like as close to that as I can possibly get. I'm just on the edge of it now. They've done this with a lot of these um, fishing nodes, right? You get the enormous ones out of there. But they've, they've... Well, we're going to have to put a stop to it now for a little while, folks, because I'm getting a bit parched. I'm also a bit peckish. So I'm going to have a bite to eat and a little bit to drink, and then we can continue onwards. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.